Welcome back, everybody. I still have the back porch all ripped apart, doing tons of deck shoring up, repair, replacement, still have to stain. House was just painted. We have concrete people coming uh, next Monday. They're going to rip out our bottom deck and put in a paved patio. So we're out here in the garage today. Of course, this is where it all started for me over seven years ago. The first time I ever cooked on my Blackstone griddle in my garage in Castle Rock, Colorado. Well, now we're 20 miles down the road in Monument, Colorado, but I'm still sizzling seven and a half years later. And I also get lots of people sending me pictures excited. They got their griddle and they don't have a patio. They open up the garage door and cook in the garage. Totally safe. I've cooked in garages with the doors open. I've cooked in hunting lodges with the door open. So just do that. Make sure you remember their outdoor cooking appliances. Use your better judgment. So without any further ado, standing below the Blackstone Griddlemore canoe, we're gonna take it back to basics with a simple but delicious hamburger. So in the door frame of our garage, I have the Blackstone 28 inch adventure ready griddle. These of course are available at Walmart and walmart.com. Have it on high, I'm gonna go between high and medium. I want the griddle to be blazing hot. And I'm joined by Levi. Levi, what do you have to say? Hi. There you go, Levi says hi. You might remember him from a earlier video. His name is Butter Bam, right buddy? Yeah. Can you give him a Butter Bam? Yeah. Do it. Butter Bam, Butter Bam, Butter Bam. Butter Bam, Butter Bam. The star of tonight's show is Rustelli's Steak Craft Burgers. You can buy these in a box of 12 and they are two to a vacuum sealed package. We'll try to do this in as real a time as possible. Got a little mixture of olive and canola oil. Paper towels, of course, my weapon of choice. Lots of confusion, steel. Steel? <laughs> Thinking about the Steelers, I guess. Steelers! My dad was also a United Steel worker for well over 30 years. Lots of confusion still on oiling your griddle top. Um, here we go down with the Rustelli's patties. Oh yeah. Um, people are so confused and they ask, do I oil before? Do I oil after? And the answer, of course, is yes and yes. Oil is integral. We're not pan frying. We are not deep frying, but oil is what going to maintain, it's going to give originally and then maintain that beautiful non-stick cooking surface. I'm in the garage, no sink, so I have to use some hand sanitizer. That's liquid gold these days in the United States. As I said before, we're going super old school. Nothing fancy today. Salt. This happens to be sea salt. Black pepper. I like mine fine ground. Finely ground? Finely grounded? It's <laughs> it's finely grounded. <laughs> oh my, again, I can't stop from breathing in black pepper. And <laughs> oh my. Lastly, granulated garlic. I would call those the three basic seasonings when it comes to meat. Anything else is just icing on the cake. People are always asking what I'm drinking in my videos. Today I just happened to be drinking the Buy Antioxidant Water. This stuff's a little pricey. It was on sale at Sam's Club though. I love it. You having a good time, Levi? Yeah. Want a drink? Yeah. Uh, it's fun just to go back to basics. You know, my actual inspiration for this video, when I was a kid growing up, we grew up in Erie County, Pennsylvania in uh, Union City. We used to go to Cory, one of the neighboring towns. I don't even remember how far Cory was. Eight miles, maybe? We used to go to Cory once or twice a week. And uh, I remember going with my mother. And she, when, as I got older, as I got to be an adolescent, uh, she would, we would always stop at a Tasty Freeze. And she would always buy me a hamburger. And they were so simple. Ketchup, mustard, and pickle. 
And I just got to thinking about that today. You know, I first cooked these Rostelli's burger patties, and a shout out to the folks from Rostelli's. They hooked up with Blackstone, and they hooked all of the Blackstone cooks up with lots of their good meats. Uh, I first did a video back here on my channel in January with these Rostelli steak craft burgers, and no exception. Hey folks, you know me, I'm cooking 30 different types of burgers on a monthly basis. All the way from the stuff that I process, our own elk, all the way to Sam's Club, to, to Costco, local meat markets. Rostelli's burger patties are definitely one of the top. I would say top two, top three. It's a handful. Top of the best, best, best burger patties I've had in my life. They are so good. You know, sometimes you might be traveling or you stumble in to a restaurant and you just have a, a pub style burger that rocks your world. And you're like, wow, this is the best right here, Rostelli's. So you can visit them at Rostelli's.com or go out to Blackstone and find out about some special deals on Rostelli's meats. I also want to give a shout out to Blackstone's graphic design department. Check out the brand new hats. This is a raised lettering. Look at that raised logo, Blackstone flame logo. Two more hats hit the web store this past weekend. Also Pace, my buddy, graphic designer. It's been at Blackstone for a lot of years. He just made two killer t-shirt designs. You want to go and check out my live on Blackstone's Facebook this past Saturday and I'll show you Flat Top Frank. Those killer new designs, but Look at that hat. That thing is sweet. Do you like the new hat, Levi? Yeah. Levi likes the new hat. Now, if you're new to griddling, this always gives people heart attacks. I'm not doing a smash burger, which I absolutely love. We'll be doing smash burgers soon. But go ahead and give them a press. You're not going to hurt your burger. Don't have an open flame. I'm not dealing with flare-ups. I'm not wasting the moisture. People get all bent out of shape. Give those a press. Hold on, buddy. Let's see what we look like. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, that is the kind of sear I'm looking for. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right there. This is a Blackstone hamburger spatula. This one came out uh, probably two years ago or so. It was in a kit available at certain retailers. This is one of my favorites. I love the plastic handle on this one. It's an oldie, I guess, by product standards, but a goodie. And because I love seasoning, I'm going to season up the second side with a little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And, of course, a little bit of garlic. 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 It reminds me of a poem that I wrote about 30 years ago, Levi. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Who was it that said that garlic is good? Was it a friend or a teacher or someone in Hollywood? For garlic, it heals us. Its powers are anything but small. So don't make fun of it. It lowers cholesterol. So the next time you're hungry, try something quick and fast. Because the taste of garlic on your breath will always last. What do you think? Yeah. Oh! And I have a big bone to pick with the folks from Wonder Bread. Found these at Sam's Club the other day. Grill King? Oh, come on. Should be Griddle King, baby. Move these burger patties out of the way. Suppose I can even use my uh, spatula to scrape that burger residue off the griddle top. And the buns, you know, I like to say sun's out, buns out, but no sun tonight. We got hit with a little rainstorm earlier, so that was nice. Uh, to butter, to oil, or not to butter, or oil. You know what? Depends on what mood I'm in. Uh, you don't need to. There's oil. You know, you know how I oil the griddle. There's oil in the griddle top, or on the griddle top, rather, um, and the flavors from the burger. But sometimes I will put a little extra oil on there or a little extra butter. I guess it depends on what mood I'm in. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this burner down to low. These burgers are seared on both sides. I just want to bring the internal temperature up. Now I can start checking these buns. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it in that lighting, but we have a beautiful toasted ring there. Look at those beautiful Rostelli's burgers. The rain is really coming down, so I'm glad we're in the garage tonight. These are nice, thick patties. 
They look just the way I want them to look. I don't want to overcook them. Mm. So we can pull these off the griddle top. Mm. So one of the biggest questions we get is, how do you clean your griddle top? It's so confusing. By the time I'm done, my family is done eating. Oh my goodness, well there it is, a messy griddle top. I like to use this putty knife style of scraper. If it's perfectly seasoned, if you've done it the right way, it should be pretty simple. Watch this. I'll just go ahead, scrape off that residue. You're not scraping your seasoning off. You're not digging down in to your surface. You're just pulling all the crumbs off and keeping that thing right on top of the surface. This is real time, friends. Where'd my paper towels go? Over here. I'm not keeping track of time, but it's not much at all. Paper towels, towel whatever. You might want to use a set of gloves if you don't want to burn yourself. You can burn yourself. You just don't want to. And that's pretty darn clean already. Let's find my cooking oil down here. A little bit of cooking oil on top. So whether I am gonna put this thing away for the night or whether I wanna transition into a new recipe, right there, elapsed probably a minute or less. I know it's a 28 inch, so throw on eight more inches for the 36, but that's how easy it is to clean your griddle top. So I'll plate one of these up in the simple manner that I promised. Gonna put a little bit of mayo on the bottom. <laughs> of course that isn't mayo it's mustard <laughs> a little bit of mustard on the bottom i'm still learning all right a delicious rustelli's patty and look at these delicious pickles i picked up these are grillo's pickles g-r-i-l-l-o-s they're out of uh massachusetts up near boston so we're gonna put some of these delicious i'm a big pickle guy i do love some pickles on my burger and uh, ketchup on top that's and of course you know i was born in pittsburgh so it's got to be heinz there we go there's the funny noise that i miss ketchup mustard and pickle that is it i hope you can see this this is a simple it couldn't be any more simple simple but absolutely delicious burger let me make one for Levi real quick. Let's see, I'll call it mustard this time. And the patty on top. He requested only one pickle, followed by, of course, the Heinz ketchup. Mm. I think I might eat your, I think I might eat yours, buddy. I'm gonna bring over my 17-inch oh, Adventure Ready backpack as a table right here. I know, we're classy, eating in the garage. Come over here, buddy. This is yours, which again, I might wanna steal it. Can I have yours? Can I eat yours? No. Here, take it. Come here, come over here, buddy, so we can see you. All right, on the count of three, let's give it a try. Mm. That takes me back. Simplicity. You know, I'm usually going crazy trying to think of the next great burger recipe. How can we make it sound good? How can there be a cooler topping? How can I think of a new kind of... Take it back to your basics, man. Remember what it was like growing up when you were a kid? And you just had a killer burger. Ketchup and mustard. Pickle. That's... Oh, they're good? What do you think, buddy? Mm. Okay. Dad, look, I took more bites than you see. You took more bites than I did? Okay. Also taking it back to my youth. I think I did this on my last video too. Oh, baby. I guess I'm still a youth. Look at that. A mm, little extra ketchup on there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Every time I kneel down and stand up again, it hurts my knee. That uh, dislocated kneecap still giving me the... Uh, the problems. Mm. You like it? Yeah. Beautiful toasted bun. If you're new to Blackstone, crunch on that toasted bun, but moist on the inside. Seared burger. Obviously, you can do what I did the first time I ever cooked on my Blackstone in my garage. Saute up some onions. But why not just take it back to basics sometime? Mmm. Oh my goodness. Dad, I'm very close to the pickle seat. Levi's already eaten half of his. 
We need to get in the house and feed the rest of the family. So check them out, Rostelli's.com. Blackstone, uh, make sure you're visiting us. Oh my goodness, I got lives going like crazy on Blackstone's Facebook. We're putting up videos left and right on Blackstone social media. I just filmed another Let's Give It a Try episode yesterday, so look for that one soon. Get over here, Levi. We're going to do Praise the Lord and Pass the Burgers, okay? So until next time, this is Todd and Levi. We're saying praise the Lord and pass the burgers. Pass the, the burgers. burgers.